Hello everybody and welcome back to some Isaac. We are trying out a new character today. This is Terraria, if you pronounce that right. It's T-A-R-R-A-R-E. So I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation, but this character is interesting. All about gluttony. Starts with an altered version of Binge Eater and the Gluttonous Blast. Pretty interesting. I kind of like having Shoop the Whoop pair room and we get the choice between food items uh, and regular items. But of course, we do have pretty low stats to begin with. So we are going to have to... Um, we are going to have to make sure to take food on occasion to boost our stats. But this guy's pretty interesting. This guy's pretty interesting. As for the question of the day, what other modded characters I haven't taken a look at yet would you like me to try? But as you can see here, we can go for the singed um, stones or we can go for the food. It gives us plus one damage, uh, so I think I'm going to take the food. I think if it's damage or fire rate, especially early on, I probably want to be taking the food items. Simply because I have very low stats for now. Uh, and I'd like to improve those. But yeah, it'd be good to know what other characters uh, that I maybe haven't tried before that you guys would like to see me try. I did I did do a little series for a while where I try out modded characters. There is quite a few that I've already looked at. But this is one that's pretty darn new um, on the workshop. Uh, it, it's, it's just sort of hit the most popular. I don't, I don't, oh my god, that was close. I don't know how I managed to dodge that. Um... But yeah, it's, it seems pretty cool. I like the idea. It's pretty basic. It's a simple character. But simple sometimes the most interesting. Uh... Take a look at someone like Jerb as a character. That's a character that uh, is very simple, but quite fun. Quite fun and in, in the style of eyes. I'm going to try and get these uh, mini monsters. I've got one of them. Uh, the Brimstone, by the way, does 75% of our damage. So it's not a ton, but it's enough um, with the ticks that it does to be pretty decent against uh, some smaller enemies. I imagine against bosses, as we're about to see. It'll prove to not be super valuable. Yeah, it's it's only going to do like 10% of the health. And unfortunately here, we do get a cube of meat. But I think the cube of meat will rotate between cube of meat and food items, if I'm correct. Uh, which is very nice, because we can at least get some HP and some stats. One thing I will say about this character, he's probably not going to be the easiest to die on. Uh, just because we're, we're going to have an extraordinary amount of red hearts all the time. One cool thing though is that sack rooms are very valuable for us. Um, we are definitely going to need some speed ups at some point though because as you can see our speed is low and it'll just keep getting lower and lower. I don't know if there's any food items that can give us speed but I imagine not. So, ooh, that was a pretty good hit. Good sir, that was a pretty good hit. We'll see what we can do. Boom bow. Yes, we do get a food item. Oh, we get Fetus in a jar. Tempting, because Fetus in a jar is, is, like, really, really, really good if we can get him leveled up. I just, the chances of that aren't super, super high. Although, that's only tears in range. So I'm, I'm going to go with Fetus in a jar and hope that we can make that work. Also, we can't take soul hearts. Uh, we'll, we'll go down this way. Why not? Um, yeah, no soul hearts for us. But yeah, Fetus in a Jar, not the not the best of the best. But if we can manage to get it leveled up or duplicate it somehow, then it would be really, really nice. We get the boiler floor here. And we did indeed get ourselves a sack room. I'm, I'm really hoping we can uh, play out a sack room at some point. Oh, that was uh, that was kind of cheeky. He um, he threw some creep directly under my feet. I didn't I didn't actually see that coming. Okay, this enemy's... Uh, that enemy is not nice. I did not know that enemy did that, and we unfortunately lost our devil deal very, very, very quickly. Um, <laughs> not the most ideal. Yeah, these guys are uh, kind of horrible. Look at this. They're just firing creep goddamn everywhere. I don't need this. I don't need this. My god. Oh, I love the foghorn, boys. Oh my god, not when they do that, though. But really, really good uh, enemy design there. If they are a bit chonky and difficult to kill. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, please go away. Thank you. I always forget about those traps. Okay. Can we kill him before he gets near us? Seems like it, yes. We're definitely in dire need of some more fire rate right now. Oh, that was a very good hit. Wow. I was not expecting that to land literally directly on top of me. Fair play, my guy. Fair play. Lover's card here is... Um, spawns a knight from the current rose pool. Okay, that's actually pretty worthwhile for us here. Um, I think, obviously, Secret Room is the main contender for a, for a card such as that. I think anyone will agree. So we'll try and find our Secret Room at some point and make good use out of that. We will see what we can do. Oh, I just blasted into the wall. That was stupid. That was rather stupid of me. Okay. We've got plenty of keys to take a look at this. 
Um, it, it, un, it like uncovers the items. Okay, so what have we got here? What have we got going on? Okay, unfortunately, we can't actually tell. We do have this one here, which is the Lavra's Water, which is pretty good. The Lavra's Water can be kind of good. Um, or we've got Damage and Tears. Unfortunately, I am going to have to take Damage and Tears. It's just too good right now. Um, and also, we'll pop this, which will give us an extraordinary amount of money. Just an absolutely ludicrous amount of money you can get from this. Thank you. It actually seems to have been nerfed a little bit, but still, it's a good amount, and we can uh, pop, 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 pop to the shop. Um, where do we think our secret room is? Let's quickly check out our shop, um, and we can buy some HP here or snake oil. Range plus tears seems like a good idea to me. Our speed is getting kind of to the point of needing a speed up pretty bad. Um, secret room is a little bit iffy here. Hmm... See, now it could be here, which I don't think is likely, but it could be there. Or it could be next to the shop. Let's have a look at the shop. Could be here. I think it's more likely to be there, to be honest. And then it could also technically be here as well. I don't know. This is tricky. Is it likely to be? Let's try this. This is what I'm thinking right now. Yes, okay, cool. Um, and we can pop that down. And... I think we want to go with the D3. Because the D3 is not an active item like it is in one of the mods. And uh, re-rolling tiers can be pretty intriguing and lead to some pretty wacky results. So, oh, this is a, a boss I haven't seen before, I don't think. I don't know how uh, how well prepared I am for this, to be honest. At least I've got some uh, fire rate going now. It's not the most amazing... Oh, come on now. It's not the most amazing amount of fire rate you've ever seen, but it's some... This is going to be a hard boss for us, I think. Okay, it's going to be a very hard boss when he fires that much fire out. Oh, we are going to lose some health to this guy. It's a really, really cool design for a boss, but goddamn, am I having a hard time with him. Is this is this little um, fire dude? Oh, is, that, is he killable? He is killable, because I've just killed him. It's a really, really cool design for a boss, but goddamn, is it uh, not one that I can comprehend. I'm having a very hard time with him here. I mean, to be fair, I do have kind of low damage, so it makes sense, but... That was a bit of a trial. Um... Unfortunately, the, the other item isn't very good, so we're going to have to take the food item here. But that puts us back up to uh, very good HP. It's a shame. We really need to get devil deals going, because spending health is just going to be so good for us here. So we need to do our absolute best to try, to try and keep our devil deal alive. But I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure how likely it is that we will. I just, I'd like to. Doesn't make it likely. Okay, we got him. Lovely. The fire rate is helping a ton. Um, that's actually pretty good. We could maybe do some stuff with that. Just make sure not to hold down fire as we enter a room, otherwise it'll just end the... Uh, it'll just end it straight away, the freeze, if we actually get it. Okay, that uh, did not work. The Gluttonous Blast can be a little hard to use sometimes. Um, and right here we've got Whirling Leech. Okay, oh god, that's actually still an enemy. Okay, so we're going to go with the Moldy Bread here, I think. Hey, we got some damage out of that. Luck, obviously, we're not as into, but we'll have. Nice. These guys are going to do their throw up on us. Got to be a little careful of that. Hey, a horse pill? Ah, it's a look down. <laughs> I was willing to gamble on it. Okay, I'm getting hit here, aren't I? No? Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Right, let's go straight for the boss here. 
This boss is not one I'm super familiar with. Okay, okay. The brimstone can be re-rolled. We know that now. <laughs> that is the discovery and a half right there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this without being hit, to be honest. This boss seems complicated. Yeah, unfortunate. Right towards the end as well. That's that's a, that's a real shame, that is. We did get a damage up out of it, though, and I think I will take the damage up. But that is a real, real shame. Because we definitely could have had something going on there. Right, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Come on. Need that devil deal. We'll get there one day. We'll get there one day. But yeah, the fact that Gluttonous Blast can be passed through this to re-roll is pretty huge for us. We can do some crazy damage by getting uh, various types of Brimstone on our side. Look at that. It seems to re-roll into the Mega Blast every time. <laughs> that is, that's a lot of fun. Okay, that time wasn't quite so crazy. But just the fact that that can happen is is great news for us. It means we've got a lot more damage in our potential roster than, than we thought. That was a bit, bit of a bad hit there. Oh, come on. Lost my devil deal again. Will I ever be allowed to keep it? Hey, it's one of my rooms. Not that the soul hearts are doing anything for us, but one of my rooms. Oh, God, the spikes. Oh, I still hit them. Doesn't matter. God damn it. Right. Blood bank is potentially pretty good for us. I'll leave that open in case we want to use it. Do we really have to kill all of these? Right, give me second level um, feet as an ajar. Oh, fuck. I just... Devil deal will never happen. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't, apparently. <laughs> it's okay. We're getting champion bosses that I don't know. <laughs> so... I think we'll go with the... Uh, actually, to be fair, we'll probably go with a food item because it gives us tears anyways. There you go. Right, back this way. We'll play a little bit of this. It's a decent amount. I kind of want to play it a little more. I want to go deep on it, really, but... I don't want to overdo it. Oh, <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh, man. Ooh, nice one. We'll keep that card before we go to the next floor. Yeah, I goddamn love... Just turning our brimstone into this absolute fucking charged beast. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a little hard to do. It's not always super consistent that we can do it. Hey, we got like a little trans uh, <laughs> brimstone there. I don't exactly know what that was from. Who knows? There you go. Hey, we got one of these for the rest of the floor. Nice. Oh, our speed is uh is pretty bad right now. That's damage and luck. I'll take it. What we got going on in here? That's tears. The speed keeps going down, but it is what it is. Okay, we're up to full HP now. Quickly kill the carrots. <laughs> oh, what else can we do here? I think we want to see if we can see our shop first, don't we? Oh, come on now, dude. Don't be like this. Why are these enemies so just ugh, slow to peek their heads? Right, hold it, hold it, hold it. No! Gluttonous Blast! Why'd you fire downwards? That's not what I wanted at all. How dare you, Gluttonous Blast? You've betrayed me. Oh, man. <laughs> Bit of a weird run as this guy, but I like it. 
I like the D3 action. It's 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 weird. It's wonderful. But I am in dire need of a speed up, please. Uh, we've got what seems to be a delirious pill there. I've never seen that before. I think I will be buying that. Um, we've also got more damage. A delirious pill. We also got the sleepy head transformation, which I've never seen before. It was just an are you a wizard? I'm confused. And we, yeah, we got this sleepy transformation I've never seen before, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Oh, we're firing out uh, stars on occasion. That's pretty cool. Also, this are you a wizard? Not, not ideal. Oh, we can destroy, uh... Wait, what? We got... We got double vanishing twins in here. Turn everything into gold and apply Midas Touch to all enemies in the room. Hold up. Is there many other things I can bring in here to make gold? I'm just thinking, turn everything to gold, that probably means I can... Might have touched some rocks and stuff, right? Right, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try. I have an interesting idea. Stay with me with my extremely low speed here. Stay with me. So, we're gonna go over to our blood donation machine and get some money for starters. We do need some more money. We'll see how much it allows us to take. Don't want to go down too low on HP, but we do two more. Really thought I'd get a payout by now. And then we do this. No, it didn't work. Damn you. Damn you. I mean, I think now Child's Heart is probably the best thing to take. But I, I don't know if you could understand what I was trying to do there. But turns everything gold. I assumed it would make rocks into Midas rocks. And I assumed it would make pennies into golden pennies. And I was trying to make all of those pennies into golden pennies. Unfortunately, it does not work quite that way. Now... We have an interesting proposition here. We could take double Vanishing Twin, which I find to be quite fun. So we'll go for that. Really? Excuse me? Okay, I, 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 this is clearly bugged, so I am going to do the cheeky and give a Vanishing Twin. Cool. Just because I was, I'm supposed to get two there, and it, it, it didn't give me two um, because of... Some weird bug with um, with the, the price between two items. But now we've got Double Vanishing Twin, which I imagine is going to be pretty fucking sketchy. Uh, <laughs> but we will give it a go. We will give it a go. Oh, yeah, I like these stars. So th do these stars destroy rocks then? No. So what... I think I must have fired through D3 and got something like a sulfuric acid tier or something there. You've betrayed me as well. I thought you were going to pay out. But now we've got Golden Child's Heart, which should mean that we get a decent amount of uh, health on room drops, which is going to be useful for us. It's going to be very, very nice indeed. There you go. I also like the way it offsets the brimstone as well. Rather nice. But yeah, the boss is going to be... Very sketchy here, because I think it will trigger both the Vanishing Twins, if I'm not mistaken. Right, you need to chill out. Good, good. I'm I'm very intrigued to see how this progresses. But yeah, this sleepy head transformation, I'm not exactly sure how I got it, but I like it. It was off of the back of some pills, wasn't it? But I do not mind it. I do not mind it. Good, good. Now we've got some decent damage for ourselves. Our Gluttonous Blast is actually doing some really pretty good damage now. Did that re-roll it into a Revelations Beam? I think it did, didn't it? Okay, we're going to need you to chill out, my guy. Rainbow Penny. Unfortunately, with this speed, backtracking is a little bit sad. I have been speaking about potentially using the, uh, the Good Trip mod, or, or as it's called, Fair Trip now. Uh, that adds to your timer. So I, I'm thinking of doing that. And I think I probably will. Um, 
I just need to sort of test out and try with it. I haven't really used it before. Then to see how it how it plays, sort of thing. <laughs> you got decimated, good friend. You were decimated. Oh wow. Um I don't know what happened there, but we got a lot of cards out of it. Another justice. I don't mind all the justice. Well, we are getting our health back up to full pretty quickly here. Stars. Worship is worship's probably a pretty good one here. Let's go let's go with this. Stars. Um Go for damage and tears here, even if it does make our speed horrendous. Ow. Oh, I lost my devil deal chance. I, even I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention. Right, we do that. And we come back over here and we do this. Um. Ooh, interesting. I mean, let's see what the glitched item is first, shall we? Grant's Jacob's Ladder. I already love the idea of it. Killing an enemy grants a 20% chance to bad um for the room and convert black holes. Okay, I think I'm just going to take this and see what happens. But Grant's Jacob's Ladder. I like the idea of that. Oh, God. Um, We lost a lot of HP after doing that. I'm not entirely sure why. This, it took, come to think of it, the last time I used a glitched item, this exact same thing happened. That was a health down. Is that really what I needed right now? Okay. Well then. I, I just wanted Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is amazing, especially with the Brimstone Beam. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, really? It's so annoying you can get that as a trinket. Right, we're going back this way. Back, back, back. Lovely stuff. Please pop your head up and don't be a absolute diva. Key. Oh, dude, the speed is uh the speed is getting me getting me down a little bit now. <laughs> Could really use a speed boost here. What you got for us? Can't take any soul hearts. But yeah, we, we lost a lot of red health from taking that. It wasn't in the description. Right. Then we want to go with this. It's a little risky. We'll go with this. Come back over to the secret room. And then we pop it. And if we get an item, we then get a, a secret room item. But also the potential to re-roll into something amazing. We don't have all the money to re-roll with, mind you. So that's not going to be amazing uh, to... To start off with. But we did get something. And we got dead weight. Which I just do not care about. Um, let's get to doing some re-rolling shall we. Triples the chance. Okay well that doesn't matter. Okay. We're going to have to do some. Uh, some walking around here. To try and get some more money. It's To be fair actually. We don't need to do that. We can bomb a few of these. Oh, we got sausage. Um, yes, I think I will take something that gives me a speed up. Thank you. Oh my god, glorious speed. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Right, now it's time to go for our boss. I keep almost walking into those goddamn spikes. And see how Vanishing Twin acts. <laughs> it's probably going to be not favorable for us. I predict... That's our blue key. All good. Right. It's time. It did indeed spawn three, but they all have very low health. So, they kind of got destroyed. Um, right. <laughs> I think I do want to take this as a regular item. I think I want to take this as a regular item. It's got a speed up attached to it. And this will take the dog food. Okay, we're back on top, baby. We're back on top. We have some actual speed going right now. Beautiful. This has been a, a fairly long run so far. Wowie. Okay. 
We have pretty pretty good killing power. Now, I am seeing I've only got one Vanishing Twin right now, but they might be layered on top of each other. I was, was going to say, at this point, I think we could just kind of speed along and uh, sort of finish out the run. But speeding, not not the most optimal word for us right now, because even, even though we've gained quite a lot of speed recently, our speed is still very, very low. I kind of like that as a, as a pretty big downside for this character. You'd have to be careful to not get to the point where your speed is just painful. I mean, anything below, like, 0 0.8 is pretty painful in general, but but any lower than that is real, real pain. I love that. <laughs> the Brimstones thing is so goddamn stupid. I love it. Oh, lovely. You got me. But luckily, we've got Burn Hearts now, so we're protecting our Devil Deal a little bit. Um... Dark Bomb doesn't do much for us, unfortunately, so I guess I'll just take this for the extra tiers up. Dude, that tier stat has, uh, has become quite favourable for us now. But our speed, she still, she still sinks to the bottom of the ocean. She is still going down. Right, let's make our way over towards our boss. Plus fire rate for the rest of this floor. Our fire rate is pretty ludicrous now. You probably ought to start with even lower stats, to be honest, because obviously with Binji, you have such, such opportunity. Right. The stars are doing good work. I don't exactly know what they're doing, but they're doing good work. Beautiful. Just straight to the boss now, I think. That's not the boss. That's a ferryman. How dare you lie to me, room. Now, I don't think Mum can be duplicated here, so I think we're safe from a uh, vanishing twin here. I think we're safe from accidentally tripling Mum. I love the fact that Jacob's Ladder is allowing us to kill enemies through walls now. Ooh, didn't see that coming. Wow, <laughs> that had euthanasia on it as well and just killed that Stony outright. Got to be a little careful here, but not too careful. We did finally get a devil deal. Oh, my God. Um, I will take the damage here. And unfortunately, this devil deal is pretty pants. But we can at least lock into that. And head our way down. Okay. Good, good. This character so far has been reasonably strong, I think. Based off the description, we all knew he was going to be pretty strong. Jacob's Ladder doing its thing. The speed here is not nice. Okay, at least the hands die pretty swiftly. Okay, hopefully we're going the right way here, but we have no real way of knowing. Now, this boss on this floor will get tripled by Vanishing Twins. So we do have to, uh, we do have to deal with that, whatever boss it ends up being. My goodness. Chill out. Oh, there's a, apparently a soul in here that I missed. How did I miss that? Weird. Very low amount of coins, but a very good variety in coin types. So overall, pretty good. Teleporter to an error room. That's pretty useful just in general to, to have. Unfortunately, was not the right way I was hoping for. This doesn't feel like the right direction either. I'm going to continue on this path now. I've already committed to it. Golden battery. No euthanasia proc, th proc there. As I said, I knew that was going to be the wrong way. Right. Almost always it's through the big room. And as you can see, there is a big room right here. Jacob's ladder was such a good pickup from that glitched item, man. It's doing amazing work for us. And this is a wet room as well, so it travels further. So I want to know what, what mod Sleepyhead's coming from. I am hitting myself on occasion, as you can clearly see. Not ideal. Beautiful stuff. The hits don't matter to me too much, as long as I'm not near death. And here's our boss. I'm going to wait for the uh, D3 to be lined up. Ah, it was goddamn Skolex anyways. Doesn't matter. 
So is this is this triple Skolex now? Yes, it is. Luckily, our Jacob's Ladder is just absolutely decimating him regardless. Oh, we got this. I like that. Um, we'll take that. We'll take that. Good stuff. Okay, speed is once again pretty goddamn low. But we'll deal with that. Ow. That dude just hit me. Golden key. Not that I think I'll need it this floor, but thank you. Right. Just beeline it for Mother now. For the heart itself. And then remember we're going Dark Path this time around too. It would be good to remember that. We are getting cards from killing things on occasion. It's clearly one of the, the D3 tier effects. I think it's a Wisp tier effect, isn't it? But it gets kind of crazy. Ooh, we got a Smelter Trinket there. A Smelter Trinket, Smelter Penny. Very, very nice. Very, very rare, but good to see. We didn't go to our error room last time. I kind of forgot about that, but I will go to the second secret room. This is also one of my rooms. Um, Where's the, where's the way out? I'm so confused. Brutal. Game kind of shafted me there. This should hopefully lead us a bit closer to the uh, to the boss fight, I would think. Kind of feels like it's maybe not going to do that yet. Yeah, this is this is not a nice room. <laughs> I'm going to take some damage in here clearly. Okay, took a bit of damage there. Bit of damage I clearly shouldn't have. But we are getting hearts back on the regular. I trinket, remember? Yeah, unfortunately that wasn't remotely even close to being the right way, which is a shame. I pick up health, I lose it again instantly. This is the way. <laughs> Apparently this is the way for me. I do that all the time. Okay. Looks like we're going this way. Strength card, I don't particularly need... Good little bit of healing there. Okay, I am just going all of the wrong ways at the moment. Oop, more HP, thank you. All of the wrong ways here. Yeah, I do, I do think it'd be crazy if Vanishing Twin could actually work on the story bosses. Imagine fighting, like, three times Mum's heart. God damn. You would be so screwed. Apparently, I managed to make that guy into another enemy there. Don't want that, thank you. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Our damage output is, is pretty wild sometimes. Right, down we go. It's time to face off against Satan himself. Hopefully we can go the right way here. Um, but with us... The worst thing is, it's like, with our speed, going the wrong way is so much more punishing. But I know because, because it's more punishing, it's going to happen more often. We don't really need keys at this point. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, the good thing is, at least, we barely have to enter the rooms. We just kind of peek in them, fire a few shots, everything dies, and we get back to back to business as usual. Strength. Okay, this time I'll take the strength card. Why not? Beautiful. Yeah, we're getting a lot of key drops that we just don't really need. Rooms like that, I don't even need to see what was going on there to, to finish out that room. I'll just get it over with. Having this thing, uh, I can't remember the item name now. Um, the one that makes enemies freeze for like a second when you walk into a room. Super, super good for us right now. I mean, it's just a genu genuinely always good item. But specifically for us right now, it's really, really good. Oh, wow. Took some very stupid damage there. There's a little heart for me, thank you. Right, we beeline it to the boss. We are here now. And this guy shall die very, very swiftly. I'll wait for my D3 to roll around before I... Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Health is not looking great here, but remember we've got four items that will rotate between health and otherwise. As long as we're willing to lose some speed, we can get our health back up to normal pretty quickly. Um, so empty vessel's not going to happen, so we'll just take this. Brimstone bombs doesn't really help that much, so we'll take the food. Obviously our speed is getting tanked right now. But this is just like, last ditch, why not, sort of thing. Got ourself Apple of Pride. I guess I'll take that. Strength I'll keep on me. Why not? Why not have the strength for the boss fight? A little bit of extra damage to help us out. More food. Okay, our speed apparently went up at some point. We, we gained speed from something. So our speed isn't as low as I was expecting it to be. But we do have 39 damage. And 9.49 fire rate here. So the fire rate clearly has uh, gone quite quite heavily over the cap. Quite comfortably over it. Breakfast. The fact that it, the picking up HP also heals you is, is pretty broken as this guy, to be honest. We found the boss already. I think we're ready for it. Despite the fact that I'm losing a ton of HP here, oh my god. It's because I've got not got a head. It's very confusing to know where I am. Right, quickly go back and pick up some of this random HP here. We should be good with that, I think. We got the strength card as well, remember. Let's go in and pop that and uh, finish out this run against little old lamb. Okay, our speed has gone down again. We're 0 0.2 speed now. Luckily, we do get some speed off of the back of that. Oh, wow. He's dead. That was in in exceedingly quick. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this look at this little character here. Uh, pretty fun one. De definitely interesting. Definitely on the easy side, but still cool nonetheless. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.